impact. How special did this one feel tonight to come away with a victory the way you did it? Um, good win, man. Good home win. Um, especially first Michael Briggs setting the tone uh, to kind of you know, get our minds right to what we, we want to do in our main goal. Paul, just take us through that floater. It seemed like you had to fling it as high as possible, but just to take me through the play. They're not going to use it. George with five. George drives over Gobert. It's good with eight tenths of a... Uh, yeah, I had to get it up there. Um, but uh, I know they was, you know, preaching the whole game. Um, I can hear that bench saying, you know, for Gobert to take a charge um, with the contact I was going towards the basket. So um, I just saw a play where he was, you know, playing the drive. Um, as if I was going to go towards him again. And I saw a little gap that I had to shoot the floater. Um, it's a shot that I worked on. So, just thank God it went in. <laughs> it was tough, man. Um, tough shot. <laughs> Over Gobert, uh, big play, man. Big big players made big plays, man. I think, uh, obviously, he's been making it all year long. And uh, tonight was one of those nights where he made another big play. Well, so what's it been like for you to watch Paul hit the, the, the clutch shots that he's hit, you know, time and time again this season for you all? I mean, it's great. It's great, man, because I can just remember last year they were putting up Paul's stats where he was 1 for 12, 1 for 10 in clutch shots. And all y'all probably was the same people that was doing the same thing. Um, and now making shots, I, it's, to me, I, I love it. Um, and I know Paul loves it as well, giving him confidence to be able to do that. Uh, make shots when we, when we need to. So he's been doing a good job of that all year long. Paul, you're down two in overtime and you break out a windmill. <laughs> what, was, uh, what was the thought process? It's going to be a pass or a shot. It ends up being Thunderball anyway and a breakaway for George. And a stop! Oh, that was a statement. That was a statement. Just let them know. My legs is fresh. You know, <laughs> it's going to be a long, long OT uh, for that. Opposing team. There was so much trust out on the floor tonight. The group hits a big three. You guys kind of had that next man up. What did you see from the group? Uh, everybody just being ready, uh, making big shots, making big plays down the stretch. Um, you know, it's collective win by all of us. Will to play tomorrow, by the way, as the Rockets face the Warriors at Oracle. George draws the double. Schroeder, extra pass. Here's Nader from outside, and he buries. Good team by Gobert against Adams. <laughs> I definitely saw Donovan has back turned, so he wouldn't see me. So I just tried to get the ball as clean as possible. The ball is later. Somehow got it away from him. What oh, an impact he's had here in the extra sessions. Now Grant switches home with three. Is it more meaningful to hit a game winner against this team? Um, no, I mean, we, we just need these wins. Uh, I mean, that game winner wouldn't have happened. The guys, uh, you know, didn't make big shots. Jeremy made a big three. Um, Abdul made a big three. I mean, those guys put put me in position to win this game. The floater wouldn't have happened, man, if those dudes didn't make those big shots that we needed. Because I went cold there for a minute, and um, those dudes stepped up. Speaking of that, you played 50 minutes. We were just looking at it. You had zero turnovers tonight. How, with just as much as you have the ball, how much you're carrying, how were you able to be so efficient with the ball tonight? Uh, I was just in a good rhythm, you know, just good with them, trying to find and make the right plays. Um, you know, it was just one of them nights.